Many people have had a sore throat at some point in their lives. The most common cause of sore throats are viruses. But there are also some sore throats that are caused by bacterial infections. One such infection is caused by a strep bacteria. It is very difficult to determine whether one has a viral or bacteria infection. If a bacteria throat infection is not completely treated with antibiotics, it can cause complications such as rheumatic fever, which affects the heart valves among susceptible children. So when the valves are damaged, blood flow does not, is not controlled. Okay? So blood gets into one chamber of the heart, and because the valves are damaged, they don't close well. But there is a high antibiotic abuse in Uganda. Some patients fail to take the entire prescribed course. There is also a lot of self-medication, despite the existence of laws against it. The bacteria may not stay in the body, but remember there are antibodies that are produced against the bacteria. I told us that this bacteria mimics body tissues. And you know why the valves are damaged? The body begins to notice this bacteria and its own muscles of the, say, the heart as the bacteria. So it destroys its own. It's an immunogenicity reaction. Symptoms of rheumatic fever include fever, joint swelling, tenderness, small bumps, rash, weight loss, fatigue, stomach pain, chest pain, and swellings. Usually, the symptoms of rheumatic heart disease show up to 10 to 20 years after the original illness. The main, the time you can capture the infection is when one has a sore throat and you treat with antibiotics, especially penicillins. Sarah Chisache is a 13-year-old who lives in Buyekwe district. I bumped into her at the Uganda Heart Institute in Mulago. Her symptoms started when she was 10 years old. It started with a fever and stomach ache. She later developed severe chest pain. And these doors are not closing well. You see that? She's been living with the illness for two years now. Her heart has enlarged due to the damage caused to her heart valves. Blood keeps going back and forth, back and forth, so the heart grows bigger and bigger, and a heart that is big is not good for the body. A smaller heart is better than a big heart. A big heart is prone to having heart failure. So, um, Chisache has chronic heart failure. The pediatric wing of the Uganda Heart Institute has many children with conditions similar to SARS. Rheumatic heart disease is the most common acquired heart disease among children. It usually occurs in children between 5 to 15 years. The rheumatic heart disease among children is commonly misdiagnosed because it presents with symptoms of most fevers which are treated as malaria. Close to 1,000 1, children all over the, the country who have already been worked out for rheumatic heart disease requiring intervention, valve repair, valve replacement and things like that one. Congestion and poor ventilation exposes children to this condition. But she still has to be on long-term injections, the benzathine injections. And then, of course, if they replace her valve, she has to be on drugs that prevent clotting of blood. So she will have an improved lifestyle. She may have improved quality of life, but it doesn't make her cured. So those who have a sore throat and are treated early will prevent rheumatic heart disease from happening. Doctors are therefore cautioning the public against neglecting sore throats. A thorough diagnosis has to be made to distinguish whether it's a viral infection or the more harmful bacteria type. If not well treated, a child may get a chronic heart disease, which is very expensive to treat. Irene Namialo, NTV. <music>